was a fantastic governor. A woman of valor whose candle goeth not out. something that you know is good and that nobody else has been able to do and yeah it's fun sure his strip ran in 2600 newspapers in more than 60 countries think he made a big difference. We all miss him and he left the Great Lakes. You want to hurt Lola's feelings? difficult to play and turn the page at the same not yet stupid not yet I am Tandaleo I feel sorry for America I would like to help it you could He's made you believe he wants to be the man behind the throne. Oh, no. Buying a map for a buried treasure. You ought to have your head examined. You feel unloved, Arthur. Welcome to the world. Everyone is unloved. Remember, once you've done it, nobody can ever take it away from you. She's my only son. <laughs> And then one day somebody will ask, whatever happened to, uh, what's his name? The Green Hornet's caught more fish than you've lied about, Gustafson. is to send these savage rock and roll punks to another country. Signed, Elvis Presley. You don't rise to the rank of colonel because you're easily fooled. I don't want a friend that you were in Sally's apartment. Thank God. I just want to know what you said. A mutiny aboard a United States nuclear submarine. If I begin to die, please take this off my head. This is not the way I wish to be remembered. Welcome back to Headliners and Legends. The class of 2000. The winners, the losers, heroes and villains, the people you chose, and the events that shaped the year. All leading up to Class President, a special MSNBC presentation. Headliners and Legends, the Class of 2000. Once again, here's Matt Lauer. Welcome back to our special Headliners and Legends, the Class of 2000. 
You know, fame is no guarantee of good fortune. And during the past year, several headliners found that out the hard way. It's not right, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it anyway. The year kicks off with singer Whitney Houston narrowly avoiding an ugly scene at Hawaii's Kona Airport. In January, authorities find half an ounce of marijuana in Houston's handbag, but she boards the plane before police arrive. The charges are dismissed after the star donates more than a few dollars to the island's favorite charities. We would have liked um, to, have, to have heard the words guilty come out of her mouth. Actress Halle Berry never does utter that word in the aftermath of a serious car accident in February. Berry is charged with leaving the scene of that accident, having run a woman into a concrete wall, then hightailing it home. She pleads no contest and will be doing lots of community service. 80s pop star Soap King Rick Springfield is wishing he thought twice about an argument with his wife in September. It was determined that Mr. Springfield had assaulted his wife. He was arrested for spousal abuse. One night in jail and Springfield makes the $50,000 in bail. The charge is later dropped due to lack of evidence. Hi, I just got beat up and tasered by one of my friends. He can laugh about it now, but in early December, comedian David Spade has to fight off an intruder in his Beverly Hills home. The assailant turns out to be Spade's own personal assistant. The year also started out on a sour note for songstress turned actress Jennifer Lopez after she and boyfriend Sean Puffy Combs were arrested in Manhattan. But that isn't the only reason we're paying attention. I always thought to myself, I'm going to do movies, I'm going to sing, I'm going to dance, that's what I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to strive for. Jennifer Lopez, a showstopper. She's sexy, beautiful, talented, determined. She's managed to maintain successful careers in both the movie and the music industries, a rare feat these days. But it takes months to earn that kind of trust. Is it possible? Lopez and her boyfriend, record mogul Sean Puffy Combs, are one of Hollywood's most talked about celebrity couples. But the year begins on a serious note for the pair. Rap star Sean Puffy Combs says he is innocent. He was arrested after a shooting in a nightclub. Combs and Lopez flee the New York City nightclub after the shooting. Their car allegedly runs through several red lights and is eventually stopped by police. I feel like when things like that happen, it just makes it easier for you to appreciate all the good you have in your life. You know, nobody's life goes off without a hitch. Combs goes to trial this coming January 8th on gun and bribery charges. He maintains his innocence. He gets a rap, a bad rap, a lot of times, I think. Um, he's a really great guy, you know, and he's good to me, and that's all that matters. Jennifer grew up in the Bronx and grew up around hip-hop and was a, a, was a dancer, was a fly girl. I don't think it's a, a terribly big surprise that she would be with somebody like Puffy who comes from that same thing. She makes headlines again at this year's Grammy Awards. Lopez is the featured attraction when she appears in a now infamous Versace gown. Well, Jennifer, this is the first time in five or six years that I'm sure that nobody is looking at me. <laughs> it was amazing that uh, Carlos Santana breaks the record, wins the most Grammys anybody has ever won in one year. And the, what was in the paper the next day, every newspaper in the country was a picture of Jennifer Lopez's dress. And she was what everybody was talking about. And I didn't realize how big it was like till the next couple of days. And they were like, you know, it was all over the paper and it was a huge big deal. And I was like, wow, who knew? Only 30 years old, Lopez has already made quite an impression around the world. Her future seems bright. But surprisingly, there may be a new unexpected role in Lopez's future. And I don't plan so far in advance, like, you know, by the time I'm 40, I like to have a family and kids and all that. I feel like that will happen when it's meant to happen. But at the end of the day, the only thing you have is your family. For some in our class of 2000, the year brought more than one brush with trouble. After spending most of the year in prison for drug violations, Robert Downey Jr. found himself back under arrest only a few months after being freed. It's just the latest bizarre chapter in what should be a promising career. I got news from Mr. Downey. He is a criminal. Robert Downey Jr. 
This is a love fest. <laughs> Hollywood's heartbreak kid was arrested again on a...